Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, I am joined as ever by a nerdy old gamer, Aaron Rog. Hello, hello. And... Oh, there. Yep. And you are... Where are you? I am by the oil. Well, oh, there you are. Reasons. But how are you today? I am good. I'm good. How are you? I'm, I, I am also good. I am not complaining. Good. But, uh, it's Saturday morning, and uh, I'm awake. That's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a good thing. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I've got up here to the oil uh, because we are struggling for petroleum. Okay. And uh, I'm a little surprised by it, if I'm honest. Especially when I consider I don't really know how to quite fix. Um, I'm tempted to put in some more oil refinery. Okay. And I but am I'm worried about getting the. It's been so long since I built this. I've forgotten what the ratio. Is. Because you're breaking down. I'm setting up a bit of defense here for our science outpost so that the fighters don't decide to come and tear it all down. That's probably good. Because that would that be sense. very sad if they did that. Let's. Mm. Well, let's set up this. So, do that. That. Yo. That. Why is that? It hurts me to the bone every time I have to chop down a tree by hand. Hmm. I'm looking at this oil setup and I feel as if I've done something wrong with it. Okay. Which would be interesting because it means it's been run since we... Because this... Yeah, this has been here a long time. Uh, yeah. Why have we got a pump? Right. So we need some more. Holes. In your light progression petroleum. Why would so, I do that? Let's request an iron ore train. Or not an iron ore train, an iron plate train. Let's come down here. I ever want to stop petroleum into the system. I also need steel That's plate. Let's call one of those as well. That should be on the side. And this one should push, it should push it up and down. You have copper plate, yes I do. Right. How can I look greater than light? Then I should push. Them. Yeah, I I think I've set these pumps up wrong. I probably haven't, and I'm going to change it, and then it's probably going to go terribly wrong. Give it a shot. But I have a fear because I've got the pumps. Rather than pushing the heavy oil and the light oil into the chemical plants to convert it, mm -hmm. I've got it extracting the light oil and petroleum. Okay. Which seems wrong. It seems like I would always want the light oil to come out, and I would always want the petroleum to come out. And then only fill the chemical plants when the condition. Yeah, that sounds right. So I don't know why I've done that. Let's destroy the pump. Destroy that pump. That's so...
And I want to put a pump in there. There. Oh, and I have a new microphone set up. So let me know how it sounds. Does it sound better or worse or the same or... Sounds good to me. Good. All right, so that's not defended up. At least for now. And so the next thing I need to do, I think, is get started on production science packs. Or... Uh, get more chemical science packs going. Might actually be get more chemical science packs going first. Heavy oil. Light oil. More heavy oil. You, if protium. I need a lot. So this is military science. Yep. Engine units, which we probably need more of as well. Well, we do need more of. Definitely need more of. I don't want to keep going south here. Maybe. Better. Let's blow up some cliffs. And then we can continue going. So, we have less petroleum than we do by all. We want to go less heavy oil than we have light oil. We want to... No, that should be light oil. So we've got a lot more in a row here. So we actually need to go get some trains called down here. We need iron plate heavy oil slower than again. Steel plate we have gears we have. So it's basically just iron plate. Although, I could probably just sit this and run all the time. Just go for everything to have to control it. Probably be fine. We're not really using heavy or light oil anywhere. <laughs> so... No, not really. But I do really want to make more... ...oil products. But I'm concerned if I do that, we're going to run out of oil. That wouldn't be good. I don't know what our oil reserves are like. It's just we're, we're not producing enough uh, petroleum to actually keep our plastic supply going. Okay. That's not good. No. No, it's out of petroleum. So... Okay. Let's try this. Let's try something a bit crazy. Let's see. Let's do... So now I can make those. I need assembling machines. Make those. Electronic circuits I have. All right. To there. Copy. Okay. few of these going. Uh, 
And we'll extend this. He's got paper. Put a string. Block. Yeah. It's not you, you. That filled in, we will copy all of this. Click. And uh, probably panic. This is not going to work as intended. It's going to break everything. Things are going to go terribly wrong. There's going to be dogs and cats dipping together. It's, it's... What's wrong with dogs and cats living together? Uh, it's, 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 you know, not in harmony. It's not natural. Yeah, maybe. I know, I know. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's a generic saying, you know. Yeah. When everything's going wrong, it's, you know, it's terrible. Just terrible. I get the drift. There's a problem with it. I need to remove that one. Mm -hmm. And that one. Remove that one. No, no. These are the ones I need. check the factorial calculator here to figure out how many I can place down in one row, but it'll be fine. For now, at least. Oh. Run out of underground pipes. I thought I had loads of them. Apparently I don't. Interesting. That's some more engine units coming along. Ooh. There we go. In. Wonderful. Let's see what my robots can do. And the supply seems fine. That's good. More engine units. Okay. Is it a lot of engine units? No, not really, but it's more than it was before. Good stuff. Yep. All right, now for the production science pack. For my next trick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get electric furnaces set up, and we need to which needs circuits. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> which needs plastic. Which needs oil. <laughs> yep. And we also need to get productivity modules set up. Set up.
which also takes advanced circuits. Yay. Everybody's favorite thing. Yep. Maybe over here. We're gonna need to go kill some biters soon because we're running out of space to build on. We need to expand. Well, hopefully we have some rockets. I didn't check that. I didn't check that. I need I need to change the rocket thing. Well right next to it, I can do that in a minute. Um, yeah, I need I need to change this up. So we're not making any rockets still, and that's because we've got those circuits. Yeah. But, um, I really should have this feeding directly into the train rather than using chests, because there's no real point to using chests. Um, Where? We, we, we are one, two, three, four. Five. We don't really need six chests full of um, explosive cannon shells. Maybe not. So I might just drop it down to I'll, I'll put a chest between there and the carriage so that it's uh you know I've got some yep how many do we have 572 i need to go up anyway pipes so try and make my way through the dense forest How's that going? Uh, great, great with an axe. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a bunch of things with no power. What? Over at the oil. Yep. Yeah, I'm in the middle of building it. Okay. It seems weird that there's no power. They should have power. That's weird. No, it's not, it's not connected. The uh, power poles haven't been placed down. Okay. So, uh, ah, there are ghosts. <laughs> that's why, yeah, there's no... There's no, uh... Right, but we're still, we're still missing rockets, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's all they're going to go into one chest, then one chest into train. Mm -hmm. So, because as I pointed out, when we get like to Spidertron and nukes and stuff like that, we're not going to use any of them anymore. So, no, probably not. It's nice to have now so we can fill the tanks and stuff up with them, but. And it's not even half a belt yet. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, I went up there to get some pipes, and I didn't get any pipes. Try. All right, um, I'm going to go to the wonderful factorial calculator. And we're going to do... Electric furnaces. You guys can't see this, but trust me, I'm there. Uh, actually, we want. Uh... Oh, robots. What are you doing? Oh, a thousand a minute. That's 333. Uh, we need to go to settings. We want. Summoning machine three. 
we want my express belts and that'll do so we need just 22.3 machines making electric furnaces so that's 23 machines making electric furnaces um, 23 machines making electric furnaces that's not too bad so if we instead say electric furnaces we need 334 a minute uh, electric furnaces 334 camel bros do your thing so we, run out of pipes we are oh, I'm gonna run out of underground pipes again oh I can't believe how many I'm using here so advanced circuit stone brick and steel plate all right. So we need basically two lines of steel plate, one line of uh, advanced circuits, and two lines of stone brick. Okay. That's fine. Pick up all the trees. Can't see. I think I uh, can fit this in here. Right. Okay. What are you running? Oh, oh, oh. I hate you. I hate this stupid the input must be on the left side and this output must be on the right side. Yeah. For the oil refineries, right? Destroy, yeah, I'm not gonna destroy everything I've just put down and replace it down because it's off by two bits. <laughs> That's uh, annoying. I get. I know. I know why it's there. It is. It is just annoying. That's. That's the thing that I get with it. It's not. I mean, I get why it's there. I understand it. You got to figure it all out, and it's fine. But it's just like. Come on. Doesn't sound like you agree with it being in there, though. No, it would be nice if, if if you just have one input of this, one input of that, but again, I get why it's um it's like that. I, I understand it, so Yeah. Will this fit in here with four train stations and then twenty four machines? Yeah, it should. I think sure. I need to move up there. Can't do that. There. If not, I can always fin fill in a bit of the lake. And it will. Come on, Rebel. Ready. Okay. 
chest is clearing nicely. that I have to dig up there as well. Mm. Mm. Something else I haven't done is count whether this actual pipe can deal with this amount of uh, fluid going through it. So I don't even know if this is going to work. Might be a good thing to know. Yeah, uh, but then trying to figure out exactly how much fluid can go through a pipe was always a bit weird. Yeah, it is. The wiki says one thing, and you build into that, and you're like, but no, the pipe's still full, so we can deal with more. So, what? <laughs> yeah. Does the factorial calculator calculate pipes? How many pipes you need? I don't know. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> Does it calculate how many belts you need? So... It doesn't tell you when you mouse over them in the calculator what to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. I want to make. This place is almost cleared out now. 7,200 petroleum. Uh, I think it does. It doesn't give me a tooltip, but it kind of does. Um, Oh no, hang on, that's not right. It says, it says for, you need, for 7,200 petroleum, just that number I put in there for the belt. Mm -hmm. um, it says you need 9,784 water. And that is, it says less than 1,432 pipe. Okay. Ah, so I assume that means it's leaving that much space in the pipe. So what if I went with 10,000 petroleum? 20,000 petroleum? Okay, so 20,000 petroleum means I need 27,000 water, and that says just under 490. It's got a less than symbol with a line underneath it, and I'm not sure what that means. Me neither. Well, a less than with a line under is less than or equal to, right? But... Uh, I thought that was... I don't know. I'm gonna need a... Okay. Okay, there you go. So if I go to 60,000 petroleum a minute, mm -hmm. uh, it finally tells me that I need two pipes of uh, water. Okay. Um, coming in. And that's 51. Uh, actually, I don't know how many I've got. Ninety. So I've got two rows of nineteen now, instead of two rows of twenty. So I've got forty, thirty-eight, thirty-eight machines. So that means one pipe of water should be enough. So I guess a pipe can deal with what is it, eighty thousand water? Something like that. A lot of water. Okay. 
because uh build offshore. offshore. Yeah, an offshore pump can deal with one thousand two hundred water per second. Okay. And according to the calculator, it looks like one offshore pump would fill a pipe. So okay. the pipe can deal with 1,200, 1200 a second. That's 1,200 times 60, which means a pipe can deal with 72,000 water going through it. That's pretty good. And I am assuming all liquids are the same. I don't know. Yeah, I would expect so. We are out of time, though. Are we? Yep. Oh, jeez. I haven't. <sighs> I don't feel as if I did a great deal. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been mucking about with all different pipes and stuff, so... Yeah. Well, I didn't do a great deal either. I uh, got a few more... Well, I, de I defended up the science. I got a few more engine units going, and I tore down a forest. Cool. All in the name of progress. Yes. Okay. So, we'll leave this one. Come back next time, and uh, I will actually do something in the next episode. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Okay. Lucky. So, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>